Hi everyone, welcome to this Point Fuse tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be taking you through the selection tools that we have available within the software. So starting point for this video is I've got a, a BIM mesh model created. And so check out our other videos for a bit of background on how to generate one of these. I've got a classification template applied to this. So I've got it just built into this IFC structure here. I've actually got a plumbing template. And I've got the model opened into view. And just to make things a bit easier with this data set, I've also, if I tap V on my keyboard, I've just got the clipping box cutting out a little section there just to make things a bit easier. So if we zoom in on this piece of equipment here, I'm going to run through the different ways of selecting in turn. The easiest way to select is just to use a, a single selection mode. And that works for uh, cylinders and simple objects that don't have complex geometry. So if I hold control on the keyboard, hopefully you'll see that the mouse has turned into a crosshair. And then all I need to do is just use the left mouse button to select on uh, objects. And it will select a surface all the way until it meets a brake line. So by these uh, connectors. Once they're selected, what you then need to do is just find the layer, so pipe segments in this situation, and use the classify tool. I'll switch that off. Switch those layers off so we can work uh, a little bit more easily. Uh, the second way of classifying is via a selection window. So if I zoom in on this uh, connector at the top here, because it's a more complicated piece of geometry, a single selection just isn't going to get all of that, all of those surfaces. So if I clear that selection, just using uh, Alt plus C, here we go. Instead, rather than single selecting, I can box select using click and drag. So still holding control and just clicking and dragging. As you can see, however, what this selects is it selects absolutely everything that falls completely within that box. So it hasn't selected any of this, um, any of this bit of conduit in the foreground here, but in the background you can see it's selected that piece over there. So what we can do is we can use another keyboard shortcut or an option from the right click menu to isolate our selection. So if I do that now, and what this does is it just isolates all of those yellow objects that have been uh, selected. What you can then do is rather than holding control, we can actually hold shift to deselect surfaces. And then we can either single select as so, or we can use the selection box. And again, because it's, it only deselects surfaces that fall within it, I can uh, be quite rough with it just to make sure that we're, we've only got our uh, connector here. Just going to press the Alt plus G keyboard shortcut again to bring everything back into view to make sure we've got our piece and then find a find its layer and use the merge tool this time. And so what that merge tool does is it's just grouped all of those surfaces together into a single object so the next time I select it, it's one piece. The third way of selecting is to use a window select. And so this is useful for selecting really quite complicated objects that don't, um, that aren't going to be very easy to select using uh, that selection box. So if we take this valve here, for example, it's a little bit complicated. You've got, got quite a lot of stuff behind it. So what I'm going to do is go up into the top toolbar and change from our window click selection to our fence selection. And it just this just changes how the selection works slightly. So now if I hold control again to access that selection mode, single select is no longer possible. But instead what we can do is just start to draw around our object, making sure that it's entirely encompassed within that selection. Once you're happy, if you just release the control key, you can see that it's selected that valve entirely. So if we move down now again into the classification, just use that merge command again and that's classified that into that layer. So just a couple of uh, warnings, just while I've got the clipping box open, if I go up into the top here. So what you might find when you're working with the clipping box is you go to select an object and you're sure you're encompassing the entire thing, uh, but it isn't selecting. And the reason for that is if I just tap V on the keyboard, it's because most of that surface is actually outside of that clipping box. So that's just what's going on there. It's a mistake I've made before, um, so I thought I'd pass it on. That's everything for this video. Uh, thanks for watching and I will speak to you next time.